So one of the very best features of the Steam Deck OLED is the awesome Emmy Deck app, which greatly simplifies downloading and configuring all the very best emulators you'll ever need together in a slick user interface. So here are the seven simple steps that you need to get Emmy Deck set up on your Steam Deck OLED, which of course also works for the old school Steam Deck LCD too. Plus I'll share four bonus tips to make your experience of Emmy Deck even better. So let's dive straight in and start with step one, which is heading into desktop mode, opening your favorite web browser, go to emmydeck.com to download Emmy Deck. The link is in the description and obviously choosing the Steam OS version to download. Next for step two is to install Emmy Deck. So let's find the file we just downloaded, which in my case is in the downloads folder. Double click to bring up this pop-up box, press execute, then press continue to install. I don't know about you, but while it's downloading, I think now is a perfect time for a pancake intermission. For step three, with Emmy Deck now installed, we now need to set it up. You can choose easy mode and customize options later, but let's select custom mode to walk through each step in this together. Next, let's select what drive you like your games on, or as they're called in emulation, ROMs to be on, and I'm gonna select my SD card. Next, select the Steam Deck handheld as our device and press next. Now select which emulators you like to be installed and configured. And for me, I'm gonna select pretty much all of them. Next, I'd highly recommend setting autosave on to for these specific emulators so that when we exit out of games on these systems, our games will automatically save, which is neat. If you want to enable retro achievements, which add a nice modern twist to retro games, then you can log into your account right here. These next options are all what you personally prefer as a gamer. For me, I'm gonna select game bezels on for an even more of a nice retro feel for these older systems. 4x3 for classic Sega systems and also 4x3 aspect ratio for classic Nintendo. I'm going to select the wider 16.9 aspect ratio for classic 3D games and also GameCube games. I'm going to keep LCD shader to off for these four handheld retro systems but you can select on if you want to truly recreate that old look feel. Next I'm going to keep the CRT shader to off. But by all means, let's on if you want to bring back memories of those old school TVs we had as kids. And I'll choose off for classic 3D games. Remember that you can always change these settings later on. Now select the theme of the interface. For me personally, I love the modern look. Your overview screen will display all the configurations you've selected. So if you're happy with all of this and click finish to begin the installation, and this is where the magic happens as Emmy Deck now saves us many hours by downloading and configuring all the emulators. If you have a ton of games on a USB drive, then you can transfer your games right here. But I'm gonna press skip for now, and Emmy Deck is now fully configured, yes! Just before we move on to step four, if you've learned something from this video, then be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons right now, as it gives the channel a massive boost. I appreciate all of you for your incredible support. You guys rock. Next for step four is BIOS. So let's click on the BIOS checker button. And for me, it's found all of them apart from Switch. That will demonstrate in a minute. Let me pause for a moment and explain this as a lot of new gamers get freaked out at this point. But BIOS is not needed for old retro consoles like SNES and Mega Drive, only for newer systems as shown on this list. And it's actually really simple as all it requires is a simple Google search of the system like Dreamcast and the word BIOS. Then simply download the file, copy it, head into the emulation folder where we installed Emmy Deck, then the folder called BIOS then just paste into the correct BIOS folder. So in the case of Dreamcast, it'll be the folder called DC. Let me demonstrate this with the Switch and BIOS for the Switch has two files, one called prod.keys and one called title.keys. Let's head into the folder called emulation where we installed Emmy Deck, click the folder called BIOS, head to the Switch emulator called Yuzu, head to the folder called keys, and simply move the prod.key and title.keys file into this folder. Now when we press again on the BIOS files checker, the Switch BIOS section has now changed to green and Switch games are now playable, yes! 
Now is the time to add games for step 5. So let's open the driver installed Emi deck on, which in my case is the SD card. Open the ROMs folder, and right here is where we copy and paste all of our games, which in emulation terms are called ROMs, into the correct folders. So for example, Game Boy Advanced folder is called GBA, the Super Nintendo folder is called SNES, and so on. In terms of finding retro games, which remember they're called ROMs, again is very easy. Simply Google the name of the game, then the word ROM, then the name of the retro system, and you should be able to find pretty much any game in gaming history pretty easily. For step six, let's head into Steam ROM Manager. Now that the ROMs and BIOS are in the correct folders, make sure Steam app is completely closed, by the way. Click preview, click pass to scan our games, hit pass once more to double check, then click save to Steam. You will need to do this step six of opening Steam ROM Manager, clicking pass, and then save to Steam anytime you add new ROMs for them to appear in game mode. So don't forget to do this. And finally for step seven, head into game mode, go all the way across to non-Steam tab, and find the Emulation Station app and launch it. And this is the awesome front end where we can access all of our favorite games and consoles in one convenient place. You may want to change the theme, so let's press the start button, then UI settings. So let's head to theme downloader, and there are some incredible ones to choose from, and my favorite is called Artflix. So I'd highly recommend downloading this one for sure. Now let's head back into UI settings, then theme, change it to Artflix that we've just downloaded, and just look at this, this theme is absolutely next level. All of our ROMs are categorized by each system, and to get artwork info for each of our ROMs, which in emulation terms is called scraping, Hit the menu button, click scraper, select your systems, so let's select all of them, and click start. If you have a lot of ROMs, then this may take a while, so grab a cool beverage. So Emulation Station is awesome for dipping in and out of games lot without the games clogging up your main game library. However, if there are specific retro games you play a lot and want quick access to in your game library, find it in the non-Steam tab, and load up so for example in my case Donkey Kong Country on the SNES and when you quit the game it will now appear in your game library for easy access. Okay and finally four quick bonus tips. Tip one is press select and R1 at the same time to save a game which is super useful before tricky sections. Tip two is press select and L1 at any time to load the last save point. Tip three is press select and start buttons at the same time to quit out of a game quickly. And tip four is to press the Y button to favorite a game so it appears at the top when you first go into each console system. I'd love to hear what the first three retro games that you will play with Emudeck. And also let us know if there are any specific tips, settings or themes that you recommend for Emudeck in the comments below. And as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video, I love to share this awesome quote. As long as you spend more time on where you're going rather than where you've been, you'll be just fine. It's so easy to dwell on past hurts and mistakes, but let's instead focus on the incredible future ahead of us. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to find out how to play your PS5 on your Steam Deck OLED using Remote Play. I appreciate every single one of you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.